Hello, it's Sarah. Hi guys, it's been a while, a moment. Um, I have rheumatoid arthritis. This is new for me, and today my hands are just in so much pain. So I just started medicine. Um, any of you guys who have been diagnosed with an autoimmune disease, I would love to hear from you in the chat. Um, starting to look into my eating has been terrible and I mean it's my son passed away at Christmas and I've just been eating so much junk junk food snacking a lot um, and just not taking care of myself in that way so I have a lot of work to do I'm gonna I'm gonna try and do better um, but yeah so my hands are really hurting and I can't really like see this finger won't even close today Every day it's different, but it's been all over me. My, my shoulders, my knees, my right foot, anyway. But I have been in the craft room, of course. I have to stay uh, busy doing what gives me serenity. So um, I'm just going to keep pushing through and know that um, it'll pass. We're hoping that this medicine I'm taking, um, I'm, I'm on methotrexate. And um, I take it once a week, and that hopefully it'll put the my T cells back into order, and um, I'll stop fighting. They'll stop fighting each other. And anyway, um, so we'll just have to wait and see. By the end of the month, I'll get blood work to see how that all goes. But meanwhile, when I have felt well enough. Um, I did a painting class. This is a Rosemary West design. Um, it was a, I find a lot of this stuff on my Facebook thread, you guys, because I do um, mostly art stuff, like pages that are art related or craft related. So um, they just show up in my thread a lot of times. Um, I think this was presented by a specific group and I can't remember the name of it right now. Cause, but I, I guess I'll try to find out and I'll put it in the chat because this is one of our older patterns but we just focused on the basket so it was actually a box that she did and it was like spring blessings and the, and the flowers were on one side of the box so anyway we just did this and it was on a here's the first one I did with the class I did it on a piece of it's just a four by six canvas and this is a Dollar Tree frame. So I had to go out and find the Dollar Tree that had it because it's just a wooden frame. I bought a couple. And there was actually a 4x4 four four one that I didn't get. They didn't have that one. But the technique is dry brushing. And I've done it from time to time. but And it's very similar to what Erica Joanne does. But she does the wet dry brushing. Or I'm sorry, damp dry brushing technique. So it was fun. It's fun to push myself to do um, things a little bit differently. So, but then I ended up making another one and I put it in the frame and I shrunk the pattern a little bit because you can see on this one that some of the pattern got hidden under the edges. So I just shrunk it a little bit and put it in here. It's so pretty. It's just the color. And the, this is Joe Sonia paint. So it's the same paints that I've been working with lately. Um, they're a little, it's not a gouache, but it's, they're thicker, they're, they don't have um, um, sealer in them like the bottles do. Anyway, they work differently, so it was fun. It was really fun. That was a Zoom class that I took. So there's that. And then I always keep an eye on Tracy Moreau. She's on Facebook too. She does Facebook Lives. And she has a YouTube channel. So this is one of her more recent pieces she did. And if you remember, I did similar pieces. Um, is, it, is it here? I think it's on my front door. <laughs> um, I did. It was a, a bee welcome. Anyway, this one is a similar version. It's the queen bee. And I had Joe cut me out the wood. It's like a big tag. He only had the thick MDF. Um, but I'm going to have him make... I think I want to try and make this into a door hanger. So we're just going to add, instead of it being a tag. Yeah, and I think I could move it down a little. I don't know that I want it much bigger. But anyway, maybe put a little door hanger thing on it so that you could hang it on the door and it says Queen Bee. 
Um, I just love it. It's simple, but I did go ahead and order the stencil. So I didn't have the stencil, so that's why I didn't paint it along with her because she already did this on her Facebook. I'm pretty sure it's Facebook. Think about that for a minute. Because Erica Joanne always does hers on Facebook Live. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Facebook Live. Yeah, Facebook Live, I think. But here, here's the stencil. And it's very cool because it's the honeybee or the, um, let's see what she calls it. M2. <laughs> uh, honeycomb. But there's several sizes. So see how she put the little part up here? There's a little honeycomb. And this, there's like a giant one. So if you were doing, ah, oh, I'm going to grab a little piece that I did. The other piece that I did was this. I found it. I knew what it was. Be kind. Oh, I love this piece too. So I did this with Tracy. Be kind. And it had the bee skep with the, da the daisies and the little bees. So, and I love that she like pops them up a little bit. So you get the shadow. It's just adorable. Anyway, and then I kind of got the pattern onto this little box. This little kind of shaped like a honeycomb box. And I must have had this. I must have a honeycomb stencil in my stash. But I just put it on the sides of the box. And then put the just a couple little daisies that could fit on there with a bee. And I put little black uh, gem feet. So these are little projects that are just so easy. They work up really easy. It uses like four colors, well, besides the B. So that was really fun. So this one, I just figured I love to paint the B stuff, so I might as well get, get the stencil that she provided. But it also came with this little free snowflake stencil. And this little free pin with a tea bag for a little thank you. So it's a pin that's shaped like a, a, a Christmas light, a Christmas light bulb. So who knows, maybe she'll do a little project on that when it, we could just put a smiley face on it or something. So cute. So anyway, that was a lovely little, I mean, I only ordered the stencil and I got all this stuff. So that was good. So I haven't painted it yet. Like I said, I think I want to have Joe and I was waiting for the stencil, but I might want to have him make me a, a, a door knob hanger thing. Um, and my hands have just been, I can't really, uh, see, like, let's see, I can close this hand better, but my thumb really hurts. Like this water bottle is so heavy. This is my water bottle that I like refill all the time. It's like, um, insulated and I have to use two hands to do it. Like even pushing the little button to open it. It's just hard. It sucks you guys. So and I know I'm not alone. I know this is a lot of you guys probably have these struggles too. This rheumatoid arthritis. And I found out my brother had it because he passed away in 2019. But he had a knee replacement surgery. And I don't remember talking to him about it before he died. Which I wish I had. I wish he was here so I could just share more stuff with him. Um, but... He had rheumatoid arthritis, and I can't imagine what it was like for him because he worked in construction and having to hammer and you, oh, anyway, I just, oh, it gives you so much more compassion for what people are going through. Um, you never know. I think kindness, be kind, is so important to just know that people are going through stuff. Um, so, um... I, t I think I shared with you about these totems that I was making out of mosaics. They're just pieces of PVC. There's my camera. Um, PVC pipe that Joe got me at Home Depot. And we cut them into like manageable, maybe three feet high or uh, two, two and a half feet high pieces. And then I mosaiced around them. And they're in the basement. Um, but I haven't been able to grout anything because grout takes... You have to press the grout into all the nooks and crannies. And I'm just not able. I don't have the... I can't do it yet. So I'm waiting. But I was able to glue this together. So I was just going downstairs um, little by little. I All my mosaic stuff is downstairs. So I just... I set myself up a little spot. I'm trying to find um, 
pretty sure I have more of these rounds. So this is just a pack of rounds, wood rounds that I got at home, um, Hobby Lobby. And then I bought some mirror. I have more of that for sure. I bought this. So I bought a couple different sizes. I got the three inch ones because I thought you could always put like a couple of those around and just have them as part of your design. I got four inch ones and then I guess this is a, a five inch one and this is that canvas. By the way, this I only, I just used um, watercolor paper to make this one. I just painted it right onto watercolor paper. I sealed it and then I just painted it and that way it fit better into the frame. And I can use the stand. But um, yeah, I just centered this. <clears throat> kind of, I made lines and found the center and drew, used my compass and made circles. Um, and I just started playing. I have a lot of pink and purple tiles. And as I was looking at it today, I was like, why didn't I put a pink in the middle of the pink? I don't know why I put green and I don't know why I put blue in the middle of the purple. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but you know, as an afterthought, I thought, well, that probably would have made sense, but I, I didn't. Um, cause I don't think I realized that I was just going to keep it purple and pink. I think I might've thought I was going to put more colors. And then these are really cool tiles, these triangles. And I always like to have the contrast of black and white in my design. So I did the black and white check here and I did these black and white. I did black and white all the way around it. And then when I was done, I was like, the white was escaping off the edge because there was white ones here. And so I just pried them off with a little chisel and put the put black in. I like it much better as just like a frame to it. So I really like it. They're just bright, beautiful. Um, and I think I'm gonna grout it with black. So that'll like make all these little shapes. I decided to just put, fill it with white but I used all my different shapes of white. I had a couple different flower kinds and a couple hearts. I only had two white hearts, so I have one here and one here. Um, just scrap and little pieces of circles and square um, triangles or whatever. But these are little millifilori. I had a little floral millifilori that's white with purple. A couple glitter. Yeah, so um, I'm going to change my camera view because I, I want to show you the the last project that I did um, the Woodland Whimsy Treehouse so I'm gonna come I'm gonna be right back and show you the Woodland Whimsy Treehouse but I need to put it in a different I need to put my camera in the tripod so um, I'll be right back all right this is a little tricky because my camera's on a tripod this is the Woodland Whimsy Tree House. So this is the third of the second box, the third project of the second box. Look at it. It's a three-dimensional tree house. It is two pieces, a back and a front, and a base. So I'm going to show you separately, but also watch this. So this, it came with... I can't even do, my hands hurt so bad. Hold on. Oh, okay. Look, it has lights inside. I'm going to turn off my light so you can see. Look, it's lit up from inside. So I'm going to move, I think I want to move one of the strands down this side and see if I can get it to, like, be brighter in there. It's actually looking a little dull, but... I mean, it's just unbelievably cute. All right, let me turn my light back on. Um, so, this is the front, and you just, there is a little middle that hold, oh, hold on. That's what I wrap the twinkle lights around, this like, the little brace that goes between the two, the back and the front. Um, and then the base has... I, you know what, I might not be able to do it because my hands hurt so bad and my shoulders. Okay, yeah. So this is the front. And look at the, all the twinkles that she has you put on it. OMG. And this is the back. And then the little 
um, fox is another little dimensional piece and she had us pop him up like pop him out just like Tracy does with her bees so that it looks dimensional you know so yeah so if there here's the end I think I just want this end light to come over to here and let it come down this side and that way there'll be some light behind this this part of the tree so we'll see if I can get it to look right it's wire so it's pretty cool you know it might stick out let me bend it this way I just think she thinks of everything and this is Erica Joanne art I've talked to you lots of times about um, her channel and her her website and all that stuff. I've painted lots of her stuff. This little cobblestone um, base is glittered, like we put glitter on it. You can't. I'm, I'll maybe show it from a different angle too. But I just wanted to, while I was going to show you it, I figured I would try and change the way it um, sat in here. Oh my god, my hands hurt so bad. So I'm just going to all right, let's just keep it the way it was. I like having this little black button right behind that so that I can, I don't want it to really show through the window. I think this could be good. So I'm going to just gently take this and place it back in the slots. There's two slots. And then just jimmy it into the, um, the middle bracket as well which is right behind this window. Those are all separate pieces too, the windows, to make everything dimensional. Okay, that side's in. Yep, that side's in. Okay. So let's see if I can get this to just stay over here. That looks good. OMG. All right. It's behind him. So I am going to turn off my light again and see if... It looks like it's lit on the other side of the doorway, like near the fireplace. See? So the fireplace kind of looks lit up too. Maybe a little too much. Hey, whatever. It's, it's the cutest. So I put this on a little shelf in my kitchen right near the coffee, and I see it every day. I don't know if you can kind of tell, but yeah, it looks good. I'm very pleased with it. So, yeah, I like that. I'm glad I changed that. And it's not very bright in here, but it's going to be um, good. So let me turn my light back on. And then, not only that, you get three projects. The first project was Shelly Kabuki. I shared him with you. So cute. OMG. So that was the first one in the box. The second one was Deer One, which... He's hanging in the other room. Here, this one. This is Deer One. Deer One, OMG. So cute. And then the freebie for this one was this little, a little bigger version, a little fox. So him. And I've been hanging him and uh, Shelly Kabuki together. I hang them from my um, macrame, my little plants that I hang all around. So this is, I forget if he had a name. She usually names all her critters, but look at him, little fox. So I just take Shelly Kabuki and I put him right here. I can't, my hands hurt so bad. And then... I hang them from uh, my planters and they make me happy. So um, let me think if I wanted to share anything else. I'll come back when my camera's back up in its normal place, but isn't this, it's just so cute. I guess I'll post it on my Facebook page, my Serenity Crafts Facebook page. I'll share the pictures that I posted um, in the Woodland Whimsy. Oh, by the way, 
my third box, which we, I think we get four boxes all together. It was a subscription box, an art subscription. We get, uh, I, we've gotten two, and now we're headed for box number three, and then four should be like more Christmas, winter. Box number three is going to be fall. Um, so I'm so excited. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so that's it. I'm glad I made a video for you guys. Even though I can't really craft, I can just share. So I hope you guys are having a crafty, serene, a serenity craft summer. It's coming to an end. So yeah, this new box, the Erica Joanne's next box, it's going to be a little more fall. So lots of more autumn colors. I'm so excited to get it. And it's coming. It might come tomorrow, but it's supposed to come Thursday. And that's Matt's birthday, too. Matthew would have been 37 on Thursday. So anyway, trying to stay present, grateful. Um, yeah, just wanted to share what I've been up to with you guys. And as always, thanks for watching and have a grateful day.